In 1972, President Richard Nixon and Russian leader Leonid Brezhnev signed the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks Treaty. At the time, the U.S. had built in North Dakota a perimeter acquisition radar site and had partially completed another PAR site in northern Montana. The treaty would allow only one site on American minimum soil. By the time that the Congress had ratified the treaty in October of uh, 1972, the site in Montana had uh, ceased construction and was abandoned. It's always kind of creepy going into this because even though it's broad daylight, uh, there are dark corners, uh, birds flying out from the hidden rooms. You would half expect Jack Nicholson to fly out from one of these pillars with an axe. Hello? Echo! But this is the front of the site, the, the north base. This is where the radar antenna would be located if it's fully built. Uh, this is actually only the first level out of five. The, um, the building would have been 120 feet tall had it been completed, uh, like the North Dakota site is. As it is right now, uh, the ground is cluttered with glass and TV parts and campfire remains. Uh, as you can see, the pillars have got uh, endless amounts of vulgar graffiti on them. Um, and so it's, it's been around uh, for quite some time. And based on how the thing is built, it's probably going to be around a lot longer. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to know uh, which each of these rooms are. Uh, you know, whether they be elevator shafts or... Uh, decontamination rooms or bathrooms or whatever. Uh, I can only uh, can only show you some of the things that are that are around. Uh, this main door here, at least the one in North Dakota, it actually has a secured entrance uh, going to the buildings. Here we got one set of stairs goes up to the roof. Now, these uh, openings, they're about, uh, most of them are about one foot by four feet. And uh, it's a 25 foot drop. It's kind of surprising that not more people have gone hurt, especially with all the uh, alcoholism that's been going around, the inebriation, whatever. But here we have the top of the building. The thickness of the walls is, uh, is shown there and the steel stubs left over from uh, the rebar that, uh, that held the thing together here. Okay, so just taking a look around the top here. Now one thing I'd like to mention here is that this is uh, actually the opening that I came out through. 
Uh, there's a stairwell uh, that I had to uh, get up on top of a bucket in order to reach. And, uh, and it was quite the task to fit the bike in that uh, small opening there. So just that kind of upon right, right and rip there, there's a, a couple of the four by one foot openings that you could actually easily fall through. Second, I just gotta kind of turn around here. Now keep in mind that off to the uh, right hand side is one of those openings and off to the left hand side is a drop off. I think I lost something. But yeah, that is the uh, the Montana Par site, uh, located about uh, six miles north of Conrad and about thirty miles east. Uh, it's near Tiber Dam and. It's, uh, it's freely available uh, for the public to view, at least currently it is. Be careful, uh, and, uh, and good luck.